Hello guys, today we are going to cover transdermal therapeutic systems or transdermal drug delivery systems. So let's begin with this now. So this drug delivery system, it is in a form of a patch. So a patch like a bandage is applied onto the skin. It's applied topically so as to deliver the drug also it has prolonged action and only lipid soluble drugs can be administered because our plasma membrane or our cell membrane is made up of phospholipid bilayer so only lipid soluble drugs can be administered in this case this is very simple and let's try to understand this with the help of a diagram now first let's draw the superficial layer of the skin that is, is stratum corneum okay so the superficial layer of the skin we've drawn here okay so let us stick the patch above it now that's the patch you see in black so the layer of the patch that is tucked to the skin it is the adhesive layer okay and it has a primary dose of the drug means when you apply the patch the first dose that the skin will get will be from that layer from the adhesive layer okay above it we see we have a drug reservoir okay so this is the reservoir of the drug okay so this is full of drug beneath this is the micropore membrane okay so though it's not this large it's just a illustration of it so these pores that you see through this the drug gets released directly into the skin okay this is a very slow process and a prolonged process the drug is released for about uh, one to one to three days and from this drug reservoir the drug enters the skin okay and the pain is relieved okay so what is this this is the backing film this is the backing film then this is the drug reservoir and this is the micropore membrane okay so it controls the rate which releases the drug slowly transdermal patches of fentanyl and gtn which is uh, glycerol trinitrate are administered in india gtn is used for chest pain and, and fentanyl is uh, is used as an anesthesia now, now quickly let us see the advantages and disadvantages of it so first of all the it lasts longer second it provides smooth plasma concentration of the drug so because of the micropore membrane that controls the rate of the drug that is being released then it's more convenient than the oral route of administration and the patient compliance is better now the disadvantages are that it has slow and prolonged action so it's very slow and then that it's very expensive so these were the advantages and the disadvantages hope you found the video helpful i thank you so much for watching